Hello everyone, it's Anne from Anne's Paper Creations and welcome back to part 13 on how to make an 8x8 mini album. And um, in this part we will decorate the front inside uh, cover. But first I want to show you something here. I uh, Usually I just uh, paint the edges. So uh, here I decided to take the shark tape around just to cover up uh, the edges and see how that works. So I glued it all around on uh, uh, both the top and bottom on the outside and then I cut into each here and just folded it over. So like so. So it's uh, fun to try something else also. So but here you can just paint it if you like to. So then we can start with the inside uh, cover, but I will take uh, this out of the way because it's more easy <laughs> to work with uh, just a paper. So here I cut the uh, paper to size and uh, then we are going to decorate it a bit. And uh, we can start maybe with this since from the co cover, I think it was 12 by 12, I'm not sure, maybe it was 8 by 8. So then we can start uh, layering up a bit here. So see how it works. This lady can peek out of the flowers. So we can already glue her down when we decided where we want this. maybe maybe down here no I think I take it on the top here I think so we can glue those pieces together Here I used uh, the fence again from Tim Holtz. And here I see a little snip here. So just glued two together and cut it to size. And I glued it direct on the paper here. So. snip off this piece here. So then I do cover up it all. <laughs> Take this off again. We'll just cover it up. And I can glue it up. So we go all the way to the end here. Start with the other side here. Here about. I think I want to 
this here. So, this in the middle. how much I want to cover this up. I think I will take that on later when we see how it goes. So then we also want uh, something to go inside here. And uh, here I'm making this I cut out from uh, the 12 by 12 and uh, backed it on the black paper that was uh, eight and a half by six and a quarter and then I scored it at four and a quarter and cut out the middle part here and then I glued uh, some spider web inside and I secured it a bit on the top here and you see I changed my mind I had it on this side first and then I glued down this witch here so then we will have some hinges here so we can cut them to size how large we need them to be. Here about. So, and we need two of these. Around the corners a bit. taken some score tape on and I needed to, to cut them down a bit because I had them on one inch but uh, here you can take three quarter of an inch and score in half. So then we can glue the hinges on here. Take this side first here. So almost all the way to the bottom. And up here. And now for the outside. did a big mistake <laughs> again. I was supposed to have this in the back here, so, but maybe we can just have it like so. No, I think I want it inside, so then we'll just take some of this glue and take it inside. to size so it will fit inside here. So this is made the same way as we did in some previous episodes. So this is a photo mat and I also think I want something on the back here. So take this. As well. So I think I just will leave it so it can be placed the photo over. So then this can go inside here. And I uh, also want a bit a longer one and this is uh, cut from uh, the template from uh, 12 by 12 back page and uh, I used to see here how long I cut it. is at six. So 
so then I just cut it to size and took a piece of paper and scored it in the middle and then cut around it to get this double here. So I think I want this guy inside here. And, uh, Here we can uh, put uh, this uh, frame and uh, I thought about this guy but I think maybe I uh, will use it on the page so we'll wait and see. So just on three sides here. So try to position it. So. And here I could have taken a couple of pumpkins and made a little pocket so but I will wait with that so see if I will use that guy on the page first so and I haven't done anything on the back here I can do some journaling with a white gel pen or something so this is picking up there and here I cut from um, uh, the sticky sheet and uh, I placed the magnet inside here and uh, when I was going around with my sig pen I uh, missed a bit so then I just colored it in the frame here. So there are two man magnets behind here and uh, this I also cut out uh, a bit uh, on the uh, outside here with a black paper. So then I placed this inside and placed the magnets here. So I think I want this on top here so we can do that now. And here I just used uh, five millimeter magnets. So uh, use what uh, you have, so it doesn't have to be precise. Uh, the magnets I'm using. So let's see where to put this. Maybe this can be here. So now this can be taken out and write a message inside or something. So I think now I will, um, or maybe you can start on that before we take it inside and see. It's more easy to see what to put on. So I got a bit too short so I will just glue it so it will fit. here. I think I just glue it down and then cut it off after. So cut out a couple of these small tiny butterflies. So I want one in her hair and this is from the cover paper from the 12 by 12. See if I can get it to stick down. So maybe a flower on the top here. So 
so and I think I will wait with gluing this down because I want some bats and uh, so yeah I think I go for this so taking our one here on the top applying and some bats here a little butterfly here. So so I decided to go for this uh, <laughs> little guy here. I just cut out a new one. So I wanted it to look down here and I have taken some ultimat and it's still wet so I hope it can glue down. So just lifting it up a bit here so we can slide the tag under. Let's see if we can use this one. So yeah, so then yeah we can maybe take this inside here also. Maybe a little pumpkin here. leave it like so. So I leave this to dry a bit. <laughs> so I also have a small one here that we can put in if we would like to Let's see how it looks inside the pitch. So then we can put it inside. So here I just put some repositional uh, tape because um, I might be taking on a keyhole or something on the, the other side so I'm not sure yet so then just do so for now so uh, I can uh, take a breath through or anything I like so and then I will put this on the side here and I'm not sure I'm in frame here so move it a bit on the side here so we we'll try to line it up about so then we can see what else we can put inside here so we can take this out so so then we can take this inside here and uh, also have made a heart and was the same shape as uh, we made this heart here and I just uh, took this uh, spider web around and glued it here so just for showing you so I will back it with uh, some paper so later so I thought this maybe could fit in here a place Let's see here about so and um, here was the other tag we cut out from the door. Maybe this could stay here. Or maybe this one. So. so I think I've taken this one. And this I think was cut out from the 8x8 paper and backed on some black. So just take this behind here. 
and I also had some leftover that I packed with some black paper so you can maybe stick that in the side here. So then I think these uh, pages are finished and in the next part uh, I think we will try to um, to make the album finished, uh, cover up this uh, back here and also uh, the outside. And the outside will be most uh, plain so that's easy. So I uh, hope this was a bit inspiring and uh, if you have any questions please look in the description box below. You're probably tired to hearing me say that now. But uh, not all uh, watch all the videos to the end so I have to say it every time. So uh, yeah, take care and have fun creating. Bye bye.